Hey Jacko, in today's video I'll show you how to make this cool stylized text easily in DaVinci Resolve. Now let's get digital. I'll do this effect in the Fusion page and I'll be using a Fusion composition, so let's make one, go to the media pool, right click, new Fusion composition, I'll change the duration to 10 seconds, put it onto a timeline, and go into the Fusion page. In the Fusion page we need the text, connect it, open the Inspector tab, type in some text, then change the font to what you want and change the size, I'll make it quite big. Once you have the text done, we'll make a fast noise, we'll be adjusting the details and the scale, and then we'll use a displace node, control space or shift space, displace, connect it, just like so. The thing that I'll be adjusting is the refraction strength, by default it goes from minus 2 to 2, but you can change this value. So we can go from 8 down to 0, so let's make the animation, start at frame 10, keyframe the value, frame 25, this will be 0, we have the animation. One thing that I didn't do is in the text, so I will adjust the shading and I will animate the opacity, so the opacity will also start on frame 10, a 0, and on frame 15 it will be fully visible. Now what I'll also add is some camera shake, I don't know if this is available in the free version, but I'll show you what you can do to get a similar result. So the camera shake looks something like this, I'll just lower the values, I'll be using the first three values and just lower them to 0.1. Now this looks good, to get a similar result you can use a transform and simply animate the center position and the angle and also maybe the size if you want, and you would simply adjust this over a short period. So now that I have the camera shake, I have to make some changes, which are mostly visible here. This gets cut off, I'll be using a transfer node, just not this one, I'll delete this one, and what I'll do, I'll simply change the size to 1.1. This should fix any clipping that we had, if it didn't, I would simply increase the value. Now the fast noise and the displace will be for the beginning of the text, and afterwards I'll use something else, but as you can see, at this point the text is still distorted, so I have to go to the displace, go to the ending of the animation, and set this value to 0, so we don't have any distortion, unless you want it. Now after the transform, I'll add erode slash dilate, I'll add two nodes, so I'll simply copy the first one, we'll connect them like so, now the first one will be a little bit above zero and the lower one will be below. If we take a look on the left and right side, we don't see any changes at the moment, so I'll just change the filter, instead of box I'll use linear, but you can also use Gaussian. And now that you have the left and right screen, basically the left one is eroded, it's going inside the letters and this one is going outside of them, and now we just want to switch between these two nodes randomly. To do that, we'll use a dissolve node, I'll display it on the right side, and then what we want to do is switch randomly and automatically from 1 to 0, and nothing in between. So it will basically be jumping like this. Now to do that, I'll use an expression. This will be the first one. We can simply do it as is, and we'll see what the issue is. We can type in equals, paste the expression in. I also have to disable the camera shake. So let's see when this animation ends. On frame 25, I'll go to the camera shake, keyframe these values, go one frame forward, 26, and simply disable them. 
So now we don't have any shaking going on, but we do have this. The switching between these two. Now that's all good, but if I go to the start, we also have the switching at the beginning, as you can see at this point. And that is not what I want. So to fix that issue, instead of using this expression, I'll explain it in a bit, what it does, we'll use this one. So the first expression will get random seed. Now the time here is the current frame. So we go from 0 to 299 divided by 3. You can use any number that you want. And basically what this means is on every 3 frames, this value will change. And the value that is here will be a 0 or a 1. And what the floor does, it simply rounds the number down. So we don't have any decimals. Now this expression is basically the same as the top one, but instead of a return, it has an x value. So we'll be able to use this x value anywhere in the composition. So I'll simply copy this. I can put this in the dissolve. It doesn't do anything. As you can see, the value doesn't change, but I can make a text node right click to make an expression, type in x. As I move the playhead, you can see that the number changes from 0 to 1. So that is what we want to do. Now to use this x value in the dissolve, so this actually changes. Instead of using the expression here, I'll simply cut it, go to the settings so that I can simply use it in the same node, go to the comments, right click and make an expression and simply paste the expression here. Now in the text, this will still work as you can see, but now in the dissolve, we could also actually just type X. So this is almost done. We just have to limit it. So the X is not applied when this animation happens. And the animation ends on frame 25. So that is why we'll use this expression. So we have if the time, which is the current frame, if it is less than 25, which is when the animation ends, simply change this value to the frame of your ending animation. Then we have one. This will depend on how these two row dilates are connected to the dissolve. Otherwise it's X. And the X is this value that is being calculated. So I'll simply copy it paste it into the dissolve. And now we don't have any of the glitches as you can see. Now, if this was flipped around, let's see, control T to switch between the inputs. And as you could see, if you cut it, it does look off. Now you can add all kinds of eye candy to this effect. I've added some soft glow at the end adjust the color scale to what you want and the effect is pretty much done. And if you want, you can simply fade it at the end. So go to the text node again, shading, opacity and lower it down. Now all that you have to do is put the video clip beneath this fusion composition. You can also make this into a macro. I have a ton of videos on how to do that and I'll link one above so you can see how to make a macro if you just want to put this effect on top of a clip. And that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and until next time Jackals, keep it digital.